Donald Trump visited the U.S. border with Mexico today. He spoke one-on-one -on -one with guards who've been working without pay for 20 days thanks to a partial government shutdown over the president's demand for a border wall. Ellen Morrow is in Washington with the latest. Hey, Ellen, thanks for being with us again. Hi, Bashi. Tell us about President Trump's trip. Well, President Trump's trip to southern Texas today was all about making the case for the need uh, for a border wall with Mexico. President Trump met with Texas senators. He met with local border, official, uh, border officials there, some of whom are not getting paid because of the ongoing government shutdown. And this was a message that he wanted to send, that this is a necessary thing. And the reason he wanted to send that message is because the issue of funding for the border wall is at the very center of why we have this shutdown going on almost three weeks long. Now, as he was going to Texas this morning, he was asked about his promise that Mexico would pay for the wall, a promise he made time and time again on the campaign trail. And here's what the president had to say about that. When during the campaign, I would say Mexico is going to pay for it. Obviously, I never said this and I never meant they're going to write out a check. I said they're going to pay for it. They are. They are paying for it with the incredible deal we made calls the United States, Mexico, and Canada USMCA deal. Now, that's not exactly the promise that President Trump made, Vashi. He talked about, uh, when he promised this initially, Mexico making a one-time payment to cover uh, the costs of the wall. So some walking back there as he went off to sell the need for the wall to the American people. We're also in day 20 of a partial government shutdown. How are federal workers taking things? How are they feeling about that? Well, there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of concern. I was at a protest this afternoon on Capitol Hill uh, where a few hundred air traffic control workers were gathered. They will start missing paychecks starting on Tuesday. And people uh, were very uncertain about how they're going to be able to start covering uh, basic household needs, bigger expenses. They're just really concerned about the very human impact this shutdown is having. I talked, on, I talked to one of them, an air traffic controller from New York's LaGuardia, Airport, and here's what he had to say. Uh, she sat in an extra layer of stress, an already stressful job. I work at LaGuardia Tower, one of the busiest airports in the Northeast, and uh, we already have enough stress on the job. We have, uh, I'm lucky myself that me and my wife have savings for a couple months, but after that, we're going to be in the same situation as the rest of my coworkers who have uh, mortgages need to be paid, tuition needs to be paid, and uh, a lot of them are debating whether or not they should take loans, borrow money from family. It's just another layer of stress that doesn't need to be put on us right now. Now, unfortunately for those workers, Vashi, this shutdown really has no end in sight with the wrangling here in Washington still going on, the president refusing anything to reopen the government that doesn't have funding for the wall, the Democrats saying absolutely no way are we going to fund a border wall with Mexico. All right, thank you, Ellen. Ellen Morrow in Washington.